first time home buyers are getting some help, not from the bank of mom and dad. The government is now getting into the mortgage business. CTV's Max Work has the details on this new plan that aims to get more first time buyers into the market. Max. Rosie, the government says it will kick in thousands of dollars for people's down payments in order to see more sold signs, but the help comes at a cost. The market for ice cream is likely a lot softer than the housing market these days. I, I can't imagine trying to buy a house right now. James Ball got into the market before the big price jump of 2017, thanks in part to the first time home buyers plan. We thought we could be, be, be getting in over our heads. We got a house that was like $275,000. Next week, the first time home buyers plan is getting a shot in the arm. The federal government is getting into the mortgage game, announced on a windy day back in March. Because we believe in investing in our people and our communities, we decided to act. Here's how it works. The government will top up down payments by 5 to 10%, depending on if it's new construction or not. To qualify, you have to make less than $120,000 a year, and the house can't cost more than $500,000. At the upper price range, the feds say it will save buyers $286 a month. But there are strings attached, says this mortgage broker. Because of the, um, the federal program limiting the mortgage plus the government incentive to four times a person's income, that limits the purchase price. So you may be able to afford more house without the Fed's help. Plus, the top up will only allow buyers to put up to a 19.9% down payment. So you're still going to have to pay mortgage insurance. You know, on a $300,000 mortgage, that's $2,100 that, that a, a homeowner could save just by being allowed to put that extra 0.1% down. Our homeowner says, like ice cream, ownership can be satisfying. You know, we can try this and uh, see how it works. And if it seems to help, it, it helps. But just like a house, buyer beware. Now, the government loan is interest free, but the feds still want their cut. So if they kick in 5% up front and your house appreciates over the duration of your mortgage, well, they're still going to get their 5% of whatever the new price may be. Rosie. Thanks, Max.